Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. The price action in Bitcoin has been absolutely phenomenal over the past few hours. Currently, we are now looking at a $15,000 Bitcoin. So there has been little to no resistance as Bitcoin has pushed through the $13,000, $14,000 level and is now sitting above $15,000. This has largely come at the cost of a number of altcoins. You can see among the top 10 coins, we've seen sell-offs in Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, IOTA, Ripple, all of them down the board. Um, it's really been double-digit losses for, for most of these. There are very few altcoins that are in the green, Waves and Stratus really being the exceptions here. Um, and a lot of this has, has been FOMO and, and people trying to keep up with this incredible price action for Bitcoin. We know there's a lot of new exposure, new people coming into the market. Uh, we, we know the CME futures are a big driver of attention for Bitcoin that brings a lot of potential institutional dollars into here. So no real surprise that Bitcoin is continuing to drive forward. Um, this has pushed the total market cap for crypto above the $4 billion mark. So within the past um, month or so, this, uh, the, the total market cap for the crypto space was around $200 billion. Um, it looks like coin market cap is, is kind of slow right now. There's probably a, a lot of people checking things out right now. Um, so we were, within the past month, close to the $200 billion mark and have shot past $300 billion and now have topped over $400 billion. So incredible amounts of, of money are coming into the crypto space. Um, and so this has really just been a, a big trend line up and to the right. Um, if we take a look at the price of Bitcoin, on looking at the candles, um, what I've done here is I've, I've drawn the chart to, to show where the $12,000, $13,000, and $14,000 levels are. And you can see here on the, on the four-hour candles that there's really been little to no resistance as the price has pushed up. So it really just shot through $13,000 and $14,000. Um, and you can see that there's been no correction during that time. And what that's led to, if we look down here at the bottom at the, the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, that really Bitcoin is sitting in an overbought position. So it's sitting above this, this purple box. And so this tends to indicate that there is a correction that's needed to the price of Bitcoin. I'm absolutely not trying to provide financial advice. Uh, but this this tends to be the case. So last time we saw this late in November, uh, where the RSI sat above um, in this overbought range for a couple of days before there was a correction. You could see this trend upward, but sitting up there, uh, eventually there was this large red candle um, price sold off. Uh, at least a little bit. Overall, the, the trend line really hasn't slowed down at all, um, but we're probably at a point where this this recent push up, um, there, there just needs to be a, a small correction to this. So what has pushed this, this euphoria? So I've mentioned a couple of reasons already. Another piece of exciting news is that there have been further developments in the Lightning Network from, from the technical developers. So this article indicates that we may see the Lightning Network sooner rather than later. Uh, the, the Lightning Network is ready to be tested, at least in some beta stages. Uh, so Lightning it has the possibility to help address some of the scaling issues in Bitcoin. And this really couldn't come at a better time as there are more and more people interested in being involved in Bitcoin. So... With the price action of Bitcoin continuing to go up, uh, this certainly brings good news uh, 
to, to mining contracts for Bitcoin. And as I've covered in some of my recent videos, I've been purchasing cloud mining, uh, cloud mining contracts for Bitcoin. The other piece of news around Bitcoin mining is that the difficulty has jumped up uh, within the past 24 hours. So over November, uh, we saw two decreases in the difficulty of Bitcoin mining. Uh, but yesterday, the, the difficulty went up by 18%. This wasn't really a surprise given these recent pullbacks in the mining difficulty, uh, but it is worth considering how this increase in difficulty changes the profitability of Bitcoin mining contracts if, if you purchase cloud mining contracts through a site like Hashflare. So going over to Hashflare, Bitcoin mining contracts on Hashflare for SHA-256, if we just look at, at one Terra hash, that currently costs $150 USD. So given the, the trade-off between the increased price of Bitcoin and the increase in difficulty, are these contracts still profitable? We can go over to Coin Wars and look at their Bitcoin mining calculator and figure out if these contracts are still profitable. So if we look at the hash rate um, for, for just one Terra hash, that's a thousand giga hash. We're not paying any power, any power costs. We do have to pay the pool fees, which are currently around 20%. This is the new Bitcoin difficulty and the block reward. Uh, the, pri the price of Bitcoin, um, CoinWars currently has this higher than what it is on most exchanges. So I'm going to back this off to $15,000. Hardware cost, um, the contract is $150 to buy one Terra hash currently. So if we click calculate on that, days to break even are currently 79 days. This is right around what the price has been or what the break even time has been uh, while the, the difficulty was lower. Uh, we've seen days to break even in the 79 to 81 or 82 days. So this is right around the same. So Despite the increase in difficulty, because the price of Bitcoin has gone up so much, these mining contracts continue to be profitable. So if you're interested in mining Bitcoin on Hashflare, I have an uh, affiliate link in the description below. That's no cost to you whatsoever. So I'm going to continue to, to mine Bitcoin through cloud mining sites such as Hashflare. It's going to be Fascinating to see what continues to happen with the, the price of Bitcoin over the next day or two. Um, if it will continue to shoot up or if we will see that correction or not. If you found this video to be helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching Crypto Command.